Hey guys, good morning. We are pulling into a Mexican restaurant, which seems to be our favorite place to eat. Just Mexican food for breakfast in general after every OB appointment. <laughs> so everything looks good. Baby girl's growing. I'll have a sano at my 36 week appointment. I'm 34 weeks today. And I got to schedule. <laughs> so I have a delivery date, December 4th. Um, and I'm super excited. I can't believe it. Five weeks and counting. Five weeks. Still have to come up with a name, but five weeks. We're there. So we're going to go have some breakfast. We have a lot of running around to do today. I have a big list on my phone. And so starting off with something good to eat. Breakfast done. Up next, renewing our passports. Fun, I know. We just finished up getting our passports renewed. It was like an hour long process. Legitimately probably an hour because I think we checked in at like 11.36 or something. And it's now 12.34. So um, I'm actually headed to meet Megan for nails real quick. And I want to get a, the toy book from Target. I saw online that it's out. I feel like to give Santa ideas for Christmas, it's easier for the girls to visualize what they want instead of writing it down because lists are all over the place and especially for autumn too but I wanted to show you guys our passport pictures huh look shots I know um actually Andres's looks good hold on let me get it to focus I look the same my face is just chubby and um yellow I look yellow <laughs> Because I don't have any makeup or anything on, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just a passport picture. But look at my Hanny Bitties. He looks so handsome. His came out so good. He, You should have seen his one that he had before. And his driver's license picture, he never smiles in pictures ever. <laughs> like, ever. So he took the first one, and he, it looked like a mug shot. And he, so he had him retake it. I told the guy, I was like, it's just not going to get any better. Just take it. I don't really care. <laughs> if I had cared, I would have put on makeup. And in 10 years, I mean, realistically, I look the exact same from 10 years ago. Like, even my face. I must have been heavier 10 years ago or like around the same because I look identical to my 10-year picture. So does he. But in 10 years, we're going to look back on these pictures and be like, oh, we look young. <laughs> so I don't really care. Um, so we got that done. Always a process to get stuff like that done. But we got it done. Have a few more errands to run. Actually, quite a few more errands. We really haven't got anything done this morning besides my appointment. We had breakfast, which was delicious. We tried out a new taqueria over off of like Fred, what was it, Fredericksburg? And 410, it was really good. Pretty good. And then we came straight over here, so we really haven't got anything else done. I'm hoping we can get everything done and I still have time to go home and do some stuff at home before I have to come back out and get the girls. We just left from meeting up with Megan and her husband for nails. They were so sweet. Oh my gosh, they were so, my nails stuck in my hair. Um, first off, I should have, and right when we pulled off, I told Andres, I was like, dang it, Megan, we should have taken a picture together. I really liked her hair. It was like a fire red, and it was so beautiful with her eyes and her skin tone. I absolutely loved it. If I were adventurous enough I would totally have red hair like that but I'm not I'm not adventurous at all and I feel like with my skin tone it wouldn't have looked good but she looks so good I couldn't stop staring at it it was so beautiful so thank you so much Megan for meeting up with us again we had to run pretty quick quickly be just we got to chit chat for a little while but we had a lot of errands to run her husband Jeremiah is super sweet too so happy birthday I hope you have an amazing rest of your trip in San Antonio and thanks again for meeting up with us so this is a toy book that I was talking about. It's the Target toy book. They come out with it every year. <clears throat> um, they come out with it every year. So I pick up one for each of the girls and it kind of just gives them an idea of like what's out right now because we don't watch a whole lot of commercials at the house in general um, because stuff is either recorded or they don't really watch a whole lot of TV anyway especially during the week and then on the weekend they're usually watching movies or we're out doing stuff or whatever so I would say probably autumn out of the three of them sees the most commercials but she wants everything she sees she doesn't understand so looking through the book kind of gives a better idea of like 
when family members ask or when we're writing our list to Santa um, what to narrow it down and not just like generalized stuff so anyway we picked those up now we are headed to look a little carnival we're headed pumpkin patch no oh. um, we're headed to look at recliners like lazy boy recliners because we're thinking about switching up the living room a little bit and so we're going to add a recliner and that's where we're going right now we also need to run to the store because autumn needs stuff for class tomorrow she needs like a baked goodie and candy and i think that's it actually she needs that and then we have a couple more places to run so today's all about running errands but it's 111 so we're getting it done pretty quickly one thing at a time so I'll show you what kind of lazy boys we're looking at because we've never, we had recliners. If you've been long time subscribers, we had recliners when we had the loft upstairs, but then when we converted the loft to Autumn's bedroom, we got rid, we gave the recliners to my mom. So now we don't have any, but they're great to have when you have little babies and when you're recovering from stuff. So we were thinking, like I said, of just switching up the living room a little bit. Our couch in the living room is starting to look haggard like very bad and I don't know what happened literally probably in the last six months to a year it started looking bad <laughs> like it's got rips and stuff in it and it's a great couch I really don't want to get rid of it and start new until we get a new house so just trying to save it a little bit um, just we're gonna rearrange some stuff so we'll see I don't know we're gonna go look go see prices and different things see what we can find These all remind me of something that my grandma would have. What? It all reminds me of something my grandma would have. It's comfy. I could fall asleep. They're gonna be like, sir, sir, get up. We just left rooms to go. We found a recliner for a decent price. And it's a big, squishy, kind of a grandma recliner, but I'm very excited for it because it was super comfortable. Now, Rooms that goes right next door to Costco. So did you know if you buy something in one period and then Costco lowers the price, which actually I have to see if they've lowered the price on it um, or if the next thing has come through, they'll give you your money back, which is awesome. And I'll probably get a little snack while I'm here. We were just at Costco not that long ago, but the baby wipes are on sale. So we picked up two more packs of those because we're always going to need them and some paper towels and now we're just kind of walking around seeing if we need anything else since we're here already might as well check it out we're doing self-checkout oh, oh thank you we were looking for a scanner <laughs> cool. and we can pay with a uh, cash card here yes okay that's it guys Quick Costco haul while the rest is getting the car. We got two things of baby wipes because they're on sale for $15.99. These are by far my most favorite baby wipes and for $15.99 that's a really great deal. Um, some Sara Lee bread because we needed some and it's cheaper here. So I just picked it up. Some paper towels because again we needed some and I feel like they're cheaper here and I haven't gone couponing. Um, chicken broth because I need it for a recipe and it was four dollars for this 12 pack which is insane so if you need chicken broth for the holidays come check it out at Costco uh, crackers were on sale for four dollars so I just picked it up just to have for homemade lunchables and stuff and then the pie crusts were on sale for 450 again for um, just the holidays in general taco pie or uh, Chicken pot pie, stuff like that. So that's all we got, but all of that was $72. The cool thing is though, is like I said, what happened? Nail? What? We just got the car. Uh, there's a screw in the tire. Dang it, look. What the heck? Anyway, like I said, you're not supposed to be lifting that cool thing about Costco is if you bought something last like sale period and then it goes on sale this period they'll give you the money back so I got $17 back from stuff that we bought last sale period and the new sale period just started today so 
winning. <laughs> Even though we spent 72, we got 17 back, which is nice. Here's recording. It's Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. No. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. Okay, everybody's in bed. I just finished editing the vlog and I feel pretty good. It's 8 p.m. and I'm already done editing it, which is nice. The girls, right after dinner, we came home and had tomato soup and grilled cheese. Very easy, simple. I had two cans of family tomato soup and really I only needed to do one I didn't put hominy or anything in it this time which is why we kind of bulked it up with the grilled cheese and it was a hit everybody loved it so we had that did homework and then the girls went through the target toy books and circled the things that they're interested in and which is super helpful because like I said their lists a lot of it the big girls especially were just Pokemon, so it gives Santa and anybody else that we exchange gifts with ideas instead of just Pokemon. <laughs> so it was helpful for sure. Everyone kind of had an early bedtime because tomorrow they are going to have a late bed bedtime because it's Halloween. Unfortunately, I work tomorrow for Halloween which really stinks. We rotate holidays, so I haven't had to work a Halloween in a little while, and I think the last time I worked it, I got to go home early. This time, I don't think I'm going to get to come home early, which is really sad for me. So I had the girls lay out their costumes with um, the clothes that they're gonna be wearing underneath them because it's supposed to be pretty cold, like out in the 40s or down in the 40s, and so I think what's going to happen is Nin's going to pick them up from school grab pizzas or something, let them eat until Andres gets off of work, get ready, and he's going to take them trick-or-treating as long as he can stand it, <laughs> as long as it's not too, too cold because he can't walk a hole. Well, let me rephrase. He's not supposed to be. He can walk, but he's not supposed to be lifting or anything like that. So I told him he needs to take the stroller that way if autumn gets cold or they have extra jackets or anything they want to pile in. She doesn't want to walk. All he has to do is put her in it and bring her back home. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how cold, if it's going to be cold like it was today. I mean, it, like tonight was definitely multiple layers, multiple jackets, gloves, hat, scarf type weather for us at least. So we'll just kind of have to play it by ear. It may not be a super, super long Halloween night, which is fine. My mom's out of town. Nin's just going to feed the girls dinner I think my brother's coming over with the boys but Melissa has school so it's not going to be like a huge Halloween thing or anything and luckily Maddie gets to reuse her costume for school because those costumes are some of them can get pretty pricey to only wear them for like an hour or maybe two on a Halloween night so and Autumn gets to wear hers at school tomorrow and Emmy's is a pajama so she'll get to wear it over and over which is great so anyway Tomorrow's gonna kind of stink for me. I hate working on holidays. It, I always feel left out, you know, but that's what I signed up for, working in the hospital. This is the last holiday I have to work. In fact, I didn't even put myself on the schedule. So I scheduled my C-section for December 4th. Crazy, 7 a.m. And I put did not put myself on the schedule that week or the week before because just in case I have to go earlier than the 4th, they don't want to have have to have me scheduled and then I can't make the shift so I'm actually technically only have I think four four shifts left in my yeah tomorrow 7 11 17 crazy four shifts before I have this baby <laughs> so strange so anyway we got a bunch of stuff done today off the list which is really good I'm glad we got all the stuff ordered and I mean ordered I was looking at something from my list all the stuff um, most of it done that we needed to get done and I'm editing the vlog early because honestly I've been exhausted all day long all day I don't know if it's just from not feeling that good yesterday I feel fine today but I don't know if it's from not feeling good yesterday not getting enough sleep to feeling like that today and I'm sure I'll be tired tomorrow because I haven't worked in a week and a half 
and often when that happens to me it run the shift runs me down a lot more so we'll see how it goes i am going to head to bed early today i've been watching the act on hulu which i know is old has been out for a little while but i'm, I'm out of shows to binge watch so because i'm going to be on maternity leave for a while i need show recommendations again um i'm I've been to watch, I feel like pretty much any, everything. The things that I want to watch again are Breaking Bad because I've heard that the movie is out. So I want to binge watch Breaking Bad. I want to watch The Walking Dead. I want to watch This Is Us. I think it's on Hulu. I haven't watched that yet. But I'm watching the act because I started watching it when it first came out. And then for whatever reason I stopped. And it's just a short series so I want to watch it. So I'll probably finish that in the next few days. And what else? I think that's it. Um, Riverdale. I want to finish. I want to catch up on the new season. And I don't know. So if you have any other shows um, that you recommend, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for shows. Or you can message me on Instagram. That's typically a quicker way to get to me. So if you can tell I'm dragging, <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And we'll see you tomorrow. Next day. Everybody getting ready to go trick or treating. Let's see some costumes. Oh, I see it. Oh yeah. Anderson is Mr. Cry. What is it? Craftsman, right? No. Creeper. Creeper. You're missing a. Autumn. Spider Girl. Spider Man. You gonna take the tag off there, girl? Yes. Okay. They're getting ready to go. And Logan? Let me see yours too. Spider-Man 2. Nice chubby. Ready? Look at Daddy. Bye, Paul. Hold on. Look over here. And we have one more picture. Go! You need to go, Mama! If you want candy, you need to go! <laughs> you're just scared! No, you're not! Go, Mama! Careful! Thank you. He just took a little while. Yeah, she so got it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I got it. Oh, good job. Okay, look at you. Look at candy. You got candy. You got candy. Yeah. Show me. Let me see. What do you get? I got candy. Let me see. Wait, come here. Let me see. Let, let, let's show mommy. <laughs> Whoa, you had two. Hey, ah, 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 slow down. Hey. Uh, hi, we are going to the next house, which is our room and third house. But because we still got only two candy left, most of the house did not have that much candy and they weren't out. Well, they were out and they didn't leave no candy in a bowl for us to grab. So we're heading to another one that looks like a house with Oh, Adam. Adam. How much candy do you have? Two. Yeah, two. Wait, please. You can walk now. I can walk. Halloween is just, it's just beginning. Come on, let's go. We walk, right?
Daddy. That little uh, boy over there has the same costume, like same costume as Autumn. Even uh -huh. has the wings. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Right, cool. Keep going through. Let's go. Marie, don't run away. We, we, we will let you where to go, okay? okay. So here we here. You get candy. I get candy. That's a Lion King toy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You, you, you seem confused, Did Mama. You get a toy? Yeah. Look, Daddy, gave me a toy. It's oh. the same. Oh, nice. It's a Pokemon toy. Ooh. I got a Pokemon toy. <laughs> go. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> Did you hear me screaming? Look, they're, they're already coming out. Look, see? Look. Are they crying? No. <laughs> they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> you made it alive. Are you scared? I'm gonna go in, okay? Let's see what, let's see what it's about. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Look, Adam. Look, she fell down. She wants a candy. She fell. She wants a candy. You want to give her a candy? No. You don't want to share. Logan, she needs a hug. Give her a hug. You're not. You're not scared. You just feel that? No, le da miedo. Uh, no. Mi, mi, mientras haga dulces, no, no le importa. Ah, <laughs> Una foto aquí con acá. Look, do you have a picture here? Una foto aquí con Look. la muñequita, ¿no? No. no. <laughs> Thank you. You said sugar treat. Yeah. Look, they left this alone, huh? You're not scared, Mama? <laughs> it's not scary. It's not scary. No, I'm not this way. I am. Look at all my kids. You're doing good, Mama. I'm brave. You're brave. A big, brave spider. I'm brave, Mama. <laughs> and next one. Next one. Yeah. That's all I hear. Mm -hmm. Next one. Uh, no, there's nobody here. <laughs> oh, here, hey. He says retreat. Thank you. Whoa, you're not scared? No, I did play. Wow. Good job, Mama. Next one. Okay, next one. Yeah.
probably like right back here and then back that way. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I think this is uh, uh, dead end street or oh. I think. Oh look. Go here. Somebody come on with me. I'm really into it. Mari. Hey, Adam. I'll be here. I can't take a treat. Just a trick or treat, okay. Mari. Over here. Over here. Oh, you saw Mickey and you didn't say hi to him? Yeah. I wow. I made it! Barely. Oh my gosh, it's like almost 8 p.m. And it was a long day at work, but... You did? Huh? You're taking a break? Your feet hurt? We didn't hit the streets, but we went uh, on uh, different streets uh, over there. Okay. It's very cold outside. Happy Halloween! At least I get to see them. Just for a few houses, I guess. Next time, don't walk in the grass. <laughs> oh, hi. Good job, Mama. Thank you. No, that's for grown ups. You could choke on that one. Pick another candy. Um, that's a Mexican candy. Is it? Uh, you chew it. Oh, it's like a hard candy, and then it has something on the inside. Oh, that's gum. Try not. Try again. Why don't you go look at your your? Did y'all have fun? Yes. Yes. Lots of fun. No, that's bubble gum. Pick a different one. Okay. Go find, go find a uh, candy from your bucket. Here, look at Emmy's bucket. I'm just taking my time choosing just a few. That way, um, like I'm stuff it all in my mouth and I end up. I have no fish. Mommy open. Mommy, you want to try fishy? Yeah, I want some gum. Mm. 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 Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. My favorite one, Mommy. Remember this one? Blow pop. Mm -hmm. They have gum signs. I love them. Mm. Starburst duos. You know, this they're all wearing uh, onesie pajamas. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a way to reuse a costume. That's what we should have done for Autumn. The onesie Spider Man. Logan had it on under his costume. Oh, he had an actual Spider Man costume? Mm -hmm. oh. It was on it's so funny that they were both Spider Man. 